Good morning, everybody. How you doing? It's me, Davy Z. Um, just want to share something with everybody in the uh, ultralight world. I've been having a problem finding somebody to change the tires, or I'm sorry, change the inner tubes on my airplane wheel. Two of them. And I finally found someone that could do it. Simmies. And I'm very, very pleased with that. So Simmies is uh, here in Lockport, New York, and they're going to, to be changing the tire for me, so I'm very pleased with that. I tried to tell the guy how to do it, and he's like, look, I've been doing this. I, I, know, I know how to change them tires. I said, all right, he took my number, and he's gonna call me, so I'm very, very happy. Um, also, now I know I can bring my front wheel to him as well, because uh, the front wheel is in, good shape either it keeps losing air but I, I can't figure out how to get it off so if anybody out there knows uh, the trick I take the two AN bolts off on either side of the tire and um, I thought it would pop off that way but it doesn't it, there must be like a sleeve in there or something I don't know I have to figure out how to get that front wheel off without hurting anything because I'm, I'm susceptible to screw-ups <laughs> But at anyway, any rate, that's what I'm doing today. I'm very happy, so I'll keep you posted. Uh, the guy in uh, Michigan that's working on my landing gear, uh, I'm waiting for him to call me back. He said he called me in a few days, and it's, it's been like four days now, so I'm hoping to hear from him today. And hopefully that'll be back in the mail soon. And I'll have that back, get the wheels on, and uh, get my training next month. With Tri-State Kites and Ultralight Sales. Andy Aldridge actually and I'm excited but anyways that's all I want to say I'm gonna let you go just wanted to say hello and hope everybody's having a great day and hope all my attic friends are doing good and all my flying friends and just everybody in general love you all I'm Davey CMO now this is the hardest working 80 year old man I know <laughs> out here weeding his garden because oh, he's bored <laughs> nice day isn't it Nice breeze. Yeah, it is. This is the guy I'm always talking about, guys, who owns the house out here where I'm working. <laughs> this is Dave Sawyer. Him and his wife, or Charlotte, are the best. Say hello to YouTube, Dave. Charlotte already did. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hello, YouTube. Hey. Yeah, hello, YouTube. Pay me some money. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could see a Toronto today. I gotta call your neighbor and let him know that I'm definitely gonna do that wall for him. I just haven't gotten over there yet. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah he, I mean, I did put a rush on it because he said there was no rush. But I think he, wa he left a note on my truck, so I think he wants it done soon. So I'm gonna get on it for him soon. All right, lunch time. Like Fred Flintstone says, yabba dabba do. Smoking again, sorry. Came real quick. I was nerved up again today. Every time I get nerve wracked, I buy cigarettes. I don't know why. Or when I'm around people that are smoking, I smoke. And again, I don't know why. So, hi everybody. That was Dave. Dave Sawyer. He's a great guy. Him and his wife Charlotte own all this. I mean, it's amazing what they own. All this property. All the way back. Well, from the front road to the back. You can see it back there. Awesome folks, though. Uh, so, uh, I finished up phase one with their house. Now phase two is about... Oh, there goes my coffee. Just what I like to lose. A nice, fresh cup of coffee. I'm going to hit my brakes. Um, phase two consists of 13... 
five bolt doors and about 20 man doors. I'm gonna spray them with oil base. Uh, I like to use Benjamin Moore from the Shuley's Paint Store here in Buffalo. It's, uh, I like the line in Purvo or in Purvex. That's more of an interior finish, but it works well on doors that you know are exposed to the elements. There's only two doors that I'm doing that are exposed. The rest are all interior, so it'll be fine. But man, they're gonna look good. I'm gonna spray them outside upright. Of course, the louvers, I lay them down at an angle so they don't run. And uh, I try to do them upside down so if they do run a little bit, it flattens out and you don't see it when they dry. But that's how I do doors, guys. I use a, normally like a 313 or 317 tip on my sprayer. Um, I don't reduce the paint at all. And if I have to reduce it, I put like a Penetrol, just a little bit of Penetrol in there, just to make it um, a little more flowable, you know what I mean? You get, more, you get better viscosity and atomization through the sprayer when, when you put a little bit of conditioner, so to speak, in there. Well, hey, look at that. It goes to my truck. Um, yeah, this job has turned out to be a nice job. They, uh, they gave me a phase three at their other home in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. I guess I'll be staying at their house out there for a week. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Um, I'll give you the link to go look at it later. It, it's a place that's actually online. Uh, they bought some property in this area and what they did is they turned it into like a B&B. &B. They rented out a big four bedroom home. I guess so. I might just take my uh, my glider wing with me. She says she's got a 150 foot cliff. Not that I jump off the cliff, but I would certainly run and try to glide over it. Um, anyways, that's what's going on, guys. Looks like uh, old Davy Z is going to be heading out of town in, in uh, possibly the end of September or October and do this job in the, uh, the other side of Pennsylvania. So. Excited. It's about a four hour drive from here, he said. So, and I'm in Lewiston. Not, I'm sorry, not Lewiston. In um, Old Cod Beach, Old Cod area. Appleton, New York. It's on Lake Ontario. It's a beautiful area. One thing I've noticed about Niagara County here uh, by the lake is all the, the fields, man. If you're an ultralight pilot or a paramotor pilot, you'd be in heaven here. I mean, it's nothing but fields for launching any kind of aircraft really I mean you could literally put an airport in some of these yards I would love to move to Niagara County but I can't go back to our house uh, we're in Erie County and all but it's almost Genesee County believe it or not uh, if I remember right across the street is Genesee County on my street, that's the divider of the county line, I believe, or it might be County Line Road, who knows. <laughs> oh well. But this is what it's like here in Niagara County everywhere. I'll show you some more fields when I come up, but it's just country, man. Look at this field coming up here to the left. If you're any kind of pilot, you know what I'm talking about. Well, that's not a good one. something with this one. And that's normally what people fly out of that I see, stuff like this. Now look at this field. Granted, it's corn, but they're all like this around here, everywhere. Nothing but fields. My son Jim thinks I'm crazy when we come out here, because all I do is graze all these fields people have. Look at that one we just went by. But at any rate, uh, they're not my field, so I'm not really going to worry about them. I'll worry about mine when I get back to Alden in a couple weeks here. Looks like uh, we're coming to a conclusion with the tenants. <sighs> How sad this situation is. I'm not sad about the moving and them having to move. I'm just sad that my wife and her cousin aren't speaking anymore in her favorite aunt and all kinds of shit. It's stupid. So all you had to do was move and none of this would have happened. But anyways, uh, I don't want to bum out. Suboxone treatment is good. I'm happy. I'm healthy. Everything's going good. 
Listen, guys, I love you all. I got a message from my friend Rock and Roberto. Where the hell you been? I haven't seen you. Uh, I missed your, your videos. I saw one, I think. But, uh, and you missed my birthday. It's all good, though. I'm not worthy. All right, guys. Love you all. Peace and love. Stay clean. Fly high. Fly safe. I'm Dave. Well, I got an update on the tire. I got it back. As you can see, there it is. All done. Solid. It was 35 bucks, and the guy was a jerk, man. You know, he's just cocky. Does good work, but he's cocky. So, I'll take my other tire to him, but I ain't saying a word to the guy. I'm just going to drop it off, tell him change the tube, and... But I got my tire back for the airplane, so as soon as I get the landing gear back, I can put it all back together and see how it rides. Hey, just want to share the update. Davey Z out.